I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. All right, let's go ahead and start. Today we're going to be painting a red barn. So let's start with like a number six size brush, a good drawing size brush and dry it off. And let's grab some light blue. And let's skip up from the bottom left hand corner at least like three inches or so. And then we're just going to draw a little line over to the right for just like an inch. And then once you have that, we're going to throw a little diagonal like you're headed up towards the top right hand corner. For at least like four or five inches. And then once you have that, just throw you a little line straight back over. And then, so that'll be like our first little roof section. So go ahead and throw some blue, which is just kind of a placeholder. It's going to be white later. It's going to be our snow. But we'll throw blue just to kind of hold our, hold our place on there. And then skip right above that. So just skip up like a quarter of an inch or so and we'll throw a little loop just like a left hand side of a rainbow. And then just bring it over to the right for a couple inches. You don't want it to come over quite as far as the little roof line below. So just stop it a little bit short. And then we'll go ahead and skip down from the top center of our canvas at least like three inches or so and make you a little mark. This is just like a little placeholder. And then once you have your little placeholder, we'll just throw a little line that a little diagonal that just goes right back into the little line we just made. And then right off the tip top of that, we're going to throw a line that just barely leans down. So you just want it to barely have any slope at all. And then once you have that, just go ahead and throw you a little line to connect those. And then we'll just grab a bunch of blue and just fill it all in. And then keep that blue on your brush and we're just going to skip up at least like five or six inches from that right hand corner and throw you just a little placeholder. And then we'll skip back up to the top and throw you like a little diagonal just for like four inches or so just to kind of get you started. And then once you have your little diagonal, then we're just going to do a little line that droops just a little bit and we're going to connect that diagonal to our little placeholder. And then keep that blue on there and we're going to skip up to the top and we're going to load our brush with a lot of paint and we're just going to do a bumpy little line. It's going to be the tops of our trees. And we're going to do that on both sides. And I think it looks good to kind of have it droop down. That way your trees don't go like perfectly across. So I kind of like to let mine droop a little bit. And then once you have that bumpy little line, then we'll go ahead and grab a bunch of light blue and we're just going to throw a layer all through the sky. So just load your brush with a lot of paint and it doesn't matter like which direction your brush strokes go. streaky but you just want to get all that white covered above your bumpy line
have some blue all through your sky, then I would go ahead and just kind of wipe that one off so you don't have to rinse it out. Just kind of wipe it off and we'll grab some really light gray. So almost white, it's like a really light gray. And now we're gonna fill in the little section between our roof line and the bumpy line. So kind of just start by getting that, that whole section through the middle first, just to give your blue a second to dry. And whenever you're filling this in, don't worry about your brush strokes or anything, because we're gonna come back and throw trees. Once you have it like all through the middle on both sides, now you can take it like all the way up to your blue. So don't leave any space in between. And then once you have all that, then just kind of wipe off your extra and we'll chunk that one in the water. And let's grab a humongous brush. So grab like your huge brush and dry it off. And now we're gonna grab some like dark red and bright red together. So just grab some dark red and bright red together. And we're gonna fill in our whole barn, but I would get like all the big areas first because then we'll come back with a smaller brush to get right up next to the blue but just grab a lot of paint. And for right now, just kind of fill it in any which way because we'll come back and add streaks to it. But I would get all through the middle. You can leave a little bit of space between your red and your blue because we'll come back and take it all the way up next to it. But now that we have the bulk of it, you could still use this brush if you wanted to get up next to this, but I'm still gonna use a, leave a few little parts and come back with a smaller brush. Then we'll just wipe that one off and chunking it in the water and grab mm, like a number six or number eight. 
So something like that and dry it off. And we'll grab some more of the two reds. And now we can come up and get the little areas. So like get this little sliver like in between your little roof lines. You just want to make sure you don't have any white in between your red and your blue. And this is where if your blue line over here got a little thick, you can come back and thin it up just a little. And then we'll use that same brush here in just a second to add some streaks. We're going to let it dry for just a sec. So just kind of wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. All right, so now that we got our red a little bit dry, let's go ahead and streak it up a little bit. So we'll use that same size brush like a number eight or so. And use like a dark red with even a teeny tiny bit of black. So just a little bit of black because you don't want your barn to look like you burn it, but you want to have some dark streaks. And we're going to go through and add some vertical streaks. Wait, yeah, vertical. <laughs> so add some vertical streaks. So I would skip around like in a few places you can just go right like underneath your roof line and then kind of streak down from there and then skip to some other sections and add you a few streaks. Once you have some dark streaks, well, I would even throw a little bit of dark right here. Uh -oh, I got a little red over there. I'd throw a little bit of dark right here just to kind of fill in that section. And then grab some of the two reds together. And I'll kind of go back in and streak everywhere where we didn't throw the dark. So some bright red and dark red together and you're still kind of doing those vertical streaks. But just kind of throw some paint everywhere where we hadn't thickened it up. you have all your streaks through the barn then we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and let's grab a teeny tiny brush the one that doesn't have a color on top and dry it off and we're gonna grab some dark brown and now we're gonna throw some trees just through our gray part so whenever you're doing this load your brush with a lot of paint and always come up with your stroke that way the thinnest part will be at the top and you want a few branches that go like all the way to the top edge too. So throw you like a little limb and throw you like branches off of it. But we're just going to skip around and do this all through our gray. And just kind of hit these once. It's all right if they're a little piecey. We're going to come back and throw snow on them. So 
you just want a bunch of branches. Make sure that some go all the way to the top. have enough over here so now I'm gonna do the same thing over here through this side just start right on top of your blue and we're just gonna throw a little tree Just keep throwing the little brown trees and make sure you have some that hit the top. And then now that's probably a pretty good start because we'll kind of fill in with the snow here in a second. So we'll just let that dry for a second. Let's grab the teeny tiny brush and dry it off and let's grab a little bit of black and we'll go ahead and throw in a door. So you can make your door like bigger or smaller than mine, but I'm just gonna skip up at least like four or five inches from the bottom and throw a little line across, so a little horizontal line. And it doesn't have to be even with that. You can kind of do it however you want. But I'm just gonna throw a little horizontal line make it a little bit bigger and then once you have your little line how you want it so that looks big enough for a tractor or something then I'll go ahead and throw a line straight down on both sides And then once you have that, then we'll go ahead. So once you have a little line straight down on both sides, then skip over here to the right hand side and you can throw you a little window. I'm just gonna throw like a little square, but you could throw like a little rectangle, whatever size window you want for your barn. So I'm just gonna throw it on there. And then once you have your little window, just kind of fill it in with a layer of black. That way it can start drying. All right, it's 
now we've got our black on our little window, then just wipe off your extra and we'll chunk that one in the water and let's grab a little bit bigger brush. So like a number four, number six, and dry it off and grab some bright white. And we're gonna start by throwing some white just through the middle of both of our little roof sections. So I wouldn't take it like all the way to your trees or your red right now, just kind of hit the middle part just to get a little layer. I'm gonna throw it on there just a little bit thicker. And it's okay if your blue still shows through a little bit. I mean, if your barn had like a tin roof or something like that, it would probably have that color tin anyway. Okay, so now we have that, a layer on that drying. Go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's use a teeny tiny brush and dry it off and grab some green. And if you wanna throw a wreath on your barn, I would just skip up a little bit from your door and kind of start with a circle. So however big or small. And then once you have your little circle, then keep that dark green. And you always wanna start from the circle. That way the thinnest part of your stroke will be towards the outside and load your brush with a lot of paint. And then just be really light and kind of think like little eyelashes. And you want some short and some longer. That way your wreath will look full. So you wanna have a bunch of short ones and then a few long ones. And you want them on both sides. So you have a good little start to our wreath. Now we'll grab like a little bit of light green with the dark green and throw a little bit of that. So now we have a good little start to our wreath, so we'll just wipe that one off and rinse it out in the water because we're going to use that same teeny tiny again. So just kind of wipe it off and rinse it out and dry it off. And now we'll grab some more white. And through the whole top where our trees are, we're going to take some white and just go down one side of all of our trees. So kind of just up one side of all the trees. So I would start by doing this first, and then if you still have a lot of gray showing, we can kind of come back and fill in. But we're just skipping around, and I'm just kind of throwing it up like the right-hand side of all the trees. And you even want your white to hang over into the blue sky just a smidge.
keep adding some white to like the right hand side of all of the little trees. And make sure you have some that goes up over the edge of your blue. Starting to get there. Just need a few more. If any of your brown got a little too heavy, this is where you can eat away at it just a little bit with that teeny tiny in the white. So the teeny tiny in the white if your brown got heavy anywhere. And then anywhere you have a big space, if you still have any big spaces, you could just throw a little bit of white. So any big areas of gray showing just to kind of help fill in. I think that's a good start to our trees. Maybe make sure I have it going over the top edge in a few more places. Because that helps it look more like trees if your white hangs out over the top. Just a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and grab like a number four size brush and dry it off and grab some more bright white. So you want like a number four and some bright white. And now we're going to go ahead and throw some down our roof line over here, which you might have to hit it more than once, but just kind of load your brush and go for it. And then once you get that, you can go ahead and throw you some more on your roof and this time take it all the way to the edge. So all the way to the trees and then all the way to your red barn. And we'll do the same thing like with this little roof line below. And just make sure you take it like all the way to your edge it should be dry now and you can like while you're doing this you can thicken it up through the middle too just so your snow's like good and thick on there oh there's Gary Alright, so we have us another little layer on our roof, and this time we took it all the way to the edge. Okay, now we'll just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. Let's grab a number four size brush and dry it off and grab some more white. And we're just gonna go back down our little roof line just to kind of thicken up the white right there. 
just to get another layer of paint. And then once you've got that kind of thickened up, then just grab more white and throw another layer on your roof just so it's good and snow covered. And we'll do the same thing through like your little roof line, like throw you another layer in there just to get it thickened up. Lots of snow. All right, and then once you have all that, just kind of wipe off your extra and chunk that one in the water. And let's grab the teeny tiny brush again, so the one that doesn't have a color on top, and dry it off. And we're going to grab some bright white. And now we're going to skip from our roof line. We're going to throw some icicles. But whenever you do these, make sure you come straight down with them. You don't want to angle them in. People have a tendency to angle them. You want to kind of come straight down. So load your brush with a lot of paint and be real light. And you want to do some like shorter than others. And I think it helps to throw a few in one place and then skip somewhere else and throw you a few just because you're going to get a little bit better at it. But always start from inside the roof. Because if you like go all down one side, you'll kind of start leaning just by like getting in the rhythm. So it helps to skip around. Just keep throwing your little icicles so that you have them all the way to the edge. Then we should have them, once you have them through both little roof lines, then keep that white on your brush. And we'll skip to the top of our door. 
And we're just gonna throw like a bumpy little line of snow, just kinda like it's sitting right on top of the door. And then keep that white on there and we'll do the same kind of thing over here through your little window. I would bump like a little bit of snow, maybe sitting on the top ledge. And then a little bit of snow could have like blown in the windowsill. So a little bit of snow. And then you could even throw just a little bit of snow or a little bit kind of inside the window there. And then keep that white on there. And now we're gonna throw a few icicles down from our doorway. So just like you did before, you know, come straight down with it. And then once you have that, then we'll throw just a few on our wreath. So for the wreath, you just kind of want to do the same motion that we did when we threw it on there. And I'm just going to throw a little bit of snow on my wreath, but if you want to throw like a bow or berries or a big initial in the middle. I think that got us a little bit of snow on there. We can always come back with a little green and tone it down, but we'll let that dry for a second. And we'll go ahead and skinny up the little, if you need to, you can grab like a number four, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe like a number six brush and dry it off and grab some more of the red, the barn red, and you can skinny up your little black lines if you need to, just a smidge. Then I think we're ready to sign it. So let's go ahead and use a teeny tiny. And now we have a red barn in the snow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.